Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Stu, and uh, my colleagues from City Council, uh, including our ward councillor here for City Hall, Diane Holmes, uh, Mesdames et Messieurs, our friends from the Ottawa Senators, from Hockey Canada, from all of the generous sponsors and contributors and engineers and architects who have been working on this project for the past several months. Welcome to the Rink of Dreams at the City of Ottawa, something we're very, very proud to be breaking ground today. We didn't introduce Spartacat, my apologies. Spartacat, welcome. Always glad to have you here. Let's hear it for Spartacat, yeah. It's got the big season starting this Friday in Detroit, then Saturday in Toronto, and then back here for the start of the 20th season of the Ottawa Senators right here at Scotiabank Place. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, c'est vraiment un plaisir pour moi de dire quelques mots de merci à tous les commanditaires qui sont responsables pour cette uh, patinoire des rêves. This was an idea that came to us uh, through Cyril Leader and, and others with the Ottawa Senators, saying, what can we do to help animate this uh, piece of property right here at City Hall at Marion Dewar Plaza? And while this is used fairly often in the summertime, it's basically dead space in the winter time. There's nothing really going on here at this plaza in the winter time. And when they came forward with these plans and we brought them to city council, there was a unanimous decision by council that this was a good investment of $250,000 by the city of Ottawa to realize a beautiful new skating facility that will not replace the Rideau Canal, but in fact will complement it. And the NCC, I just spoke with the president of the NCC, uh, Marie LeMay, who was very excited about this opportunity to help program events during Winterlude, because we know Winterlude uh, from time to time becomes Waterlude, and we can't always use the skating facility because of weather, and this is going to allow those thousands of visitors who come for a winter experience in Ottawa to skate uh, on the Rink of Dreams here at City Hall, or uh, or on the canal. And so I'm very, very pleased to uh, be here to break ground and I want to thank Cyril, I want to thank Jim Durrell, Danielle Robinson and our friends from Hockey Canada. Because under their leadership they went out and raised hundreds of thousands of dollars this summer with the Hockey Canada dinner and the golf tournament and Jim took the leadership on that and Jim thank you very much for a job very well done. They exceeded their goal. And they have uh, ensured that this project is going to uh, be a great success. I also want to thank my colleagues on Ottawa City Council because we brought this concept to them. We brought the pictures and they believed in it. They thought it was a good investment. And I want to thank our city staff, le personnel de la ville d'Ottawa, particularly Steve Kanalakis and Dan Chenier for the great work that they've done. The City of Ottawa's Infrastructure Services Department all of the groups that Stuntman Stu has uh, read out who are going to be working on this. And many of these groups are not only working on the project, but are also contributing uh, on a voluntary basis, resources and time to ensure that the project uh, comes off without a hitch. So this is uh, going to be an exciting time when this uh, rink opens, uh, either late December or early January, but certainly in time for the All-Star Game that we're going to be hosting in 2012. And we hope to have programming events here for the All-Star Game, as well as for Winterlude 2012. Encore, merci beaucoup. Thank you all very much for taking time from your schedules and allowing the Rink of Dreams to, come, to become a reality for the residents and visitors of the City of Ottawa. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, today's a proud day for all of us here. And personally, I'm extremely proud of our, our team our organization that has got us here today, uh, led capably by Danielle Robinson and Aaron Robinson. No relation, by the way. It's through the hard work and determination and commitment of our team that allows us to do the, the great things we do in the community. And uh, so to Aaron and Danielle and all of your staff, thank you for a job well done on Gros Merci. I'd also like to thank all the contributors to this project, uh, in particular the Hockey Canada Gala Committee led by Jim Durrell, Jim Orban and Bernie Ash, and all the contractors and consultants that have donated time and services and materials to the project. Uh, every single one of them that we approached uh, said yes, and all of them came back and asked us, what else can we do? 
the project team at the City of Ottawa, led by uh, Wayne Newell and Paul Hussar. And of course, uh, Mayor Watson and City Council for their leadership in getting this project online so quickly. Uh, really, in a very short period of time, uh, we've completed the fundraising, we've finalized the design, we've rallied the community, and we're about to start construction. And uh, when the facility opens uh, late in December, early in the new year, it will be slightly just longer than a year from the time we first uh, had the idea for this project until it's actually open. So that's, that's quite, quite amazing. This year, the Senators are also celebrating our, our 20th anniversary. And uh, we couldn't think of a better project to help commemorate that 20th anniversary season than building a rink right here at City Hall. And you'll hear people today talk about how uh, important this, this project is. It's important because it helps our city uh, maintain and add to the vibrancy in our downtown core. It's located right down here in the center of the city. And if a city's downtown core is its heart, then the activities and the people events that take place down here are really its soul. And we hope that the Rink of Dreams will really become a family place. Uh, family life is one of our city's uh, great strengths and virtues. It's a great place certainly to raise a family. And it may not be the reason why people move here, but I think it certainly is one of the reasons that keeps them here once they've had the opportunity to experience the family life and the quality of life here in Ottawa. So again, on behalf of the entire Senator's organization, I want to thank everyone that's had a hand in bringing us to this point, and I look forward to skating with all of you as soon as this project's ready. Thank you. Thank you, Stu. And uh, this is just a great example of what happens when the business community gets together with the, pri with the public sector. And uh, you start with a very progressive mayor who embraced this idea from the start, and you get a great group of men and women together who put together an enormously successful fundraiser. We raised in one night over $700,000, which is really remarkable. And uh, thank you all, and particular thanks to the team that uh, pulled this off. It's, it's really, really something. A special thanks to Hockey Canada, and particularly Bob Nicholson, who had confidence in our community and, and uh, was uh, a real key player in making this happen. So all in all, it was a win-win-win for our city government, for our committee who did a lot of work for Hockey Canada, the SENS Foundation, and most importantly for our citizens. Thank you, merci. Thank you, Stu, and good morning, everyone. In the last 20 years, Senator Sports and Entertainment, the SENS Foundation, in partnership with our alumni, corporate partners, and fans, have been able to give back to this community and region over $65 million. United Way, a couple years ago, shared with us that youth who participate in recreational activities for five hours a week significantly decrease negative behaviors and as an outcome they enjoy positive relationships that keep them in school and on to bigger and better things. As a result, the SENS Foundation Board of Directors a couple years ago made the decision that, that the SENS Foundation would concentrate moving forward significantly in the area of sport and recreation. Last year in partnership with the City of Ottawa as well as Canadian Tire Dealers here and the Jumpstart program, we were able to um, donate 400 helmets and skates to children to learn how to skate in 27 different communities in this neighborhood. It was a really great jump start to this Rink of Dreams project that's now going to be happening here, constructed. We wanted to thank you so much for coming this morning, thank all of the construction partners, all of the partners that have made this um, happen in our community, and we certainly know that this is only going to be the first of many projects like this in the years to come. Thank you.